Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone. So this is the video from chapter 3, Nutrition in Plan, Subtopic 3.2 Organ for Water and Mineral Salt Intake. Let's start. Organ for Water and Mineral Salt Uptake is the root. What are the function of the roots? There are two functions of the roots. First, provide support and strength to anchor the plant in the soil. Second one is absorb water and mineral salt from the soil and transport them to the stem and leaf. So this is the structure of root. This is the profession structure of the lateral root. Next, let's discuss more about the root structure for water and mineral salt, salt uptake. So, the structure of the root divided into three, root collar, root hairs and root cap. Root collar is the function to connect it to the base of the plant stem. This is the root, root collar. Root hair adapted for ep from epidermal cell of the roots increase the total surface area of the roots to increase the uptake of water and mineral salt. So this is the structure of root hair. The last one is root cap. Located at the tip of the root, protect the root from damage when going through the soil. This is the root cap. Next, let's discuss detail for the adaptation, the root adaptation. Okay, this is the structure of epidermis, the outer layer of the root is enveloped or is uh, enclosed by the epidermis. Epidermis Epidermal cells are closely arranged. There are thin cell walls and water permeable cell membrane so that to facilitate water movement in the roots. There are epidermal cells which form root hair by elongating towards the lateral side from the outer wall. The root hair cells are not layered with cuticle so that to allow water absorption. The root hair cell also have big vacuum, store water and mineral salt to increase water absorption. Next, endodermis. Endodermis is the located below the cortex layer. Endodermis separating layer between cortex and vascular cylinder. Endodermal cilia cell are closely arranged and one cell thick. Most of the endodermal cell have silvery or lignin thickening at the wall which form Casparian strip. Endodermis allow water and mineral salt absorbed from the soil to enter the vascular cylinder but not air bubbles. So this, this is the function of endodermis. Next, cortex. Cortex, the structure between the, the structure in the middle between the epidermis and endodermis. Cortex is located under the epidermal layer, as thin cell wall, facilitate, facilitating water movement in the roots. The cells are loosely arranged to facilitate gases exchange. Most of the cortex consists of parenchymal cells which store starch grains. Vascular cylinder Vascular cylinder consists of vascular tissue and the pericycle. Look at the picture. Vascular cylinder consists of primary xylem and primary phloem and pericycle. 
pericycle is involved in secondary growth and the formation of lateral roots. The pericycle consists of sclerenchyma tissue which provide mechanical support for the roots. Usually, xylem and phloem tissue are arranged in a star-shaped pattern. Xylem tissue transport water and mineral salt whereas phloem, phloem tissue transport organic substances such as sucrose and plant hormone. That's all. Thank you.